All right, someone requested a CP Foundry. Could Landfall be a decent 3 CP map? Possibly. Okay, we're going to look at this uh, Foundry, see what's good about it, what's bad about it. Okay, so right off the bat, the spawn, um, it's good that you can't see the point from the spawn. That is good. The fact that there's only one door might be problematic, though. Point's just kind of flat. I feel like it's not very easy to, like, kite away from the point, though. I feel like there should be some sort of cover, some additional cover, maybe. Like, maybe a, a shield or something here that you could, like, kite behind. Because as it is, like, you're just back. Your back is against the wall completely, and there's nowhere to go. So it's usually good when you can kind of, like, play around in certain positions and feel confident that you can survive for a little bit. Um, death Pit is probably a bad thing, honestly. There should probably be a fence here to prevent you from falling in. Otherwise, eh. I mean, the, the stacks are cool, like, around here. I like these. Um, this back stairwell. Not bad, I guess. I don't really like this. I don't know. Kind of weird. Something about it, it's just like, it feels like you can't really push through any of these doorways that well. Especially not this one. You just get spammed out or sniped or whatever. I wonder if there'd be a better way. Like, half the time people like dive out of this window. That's kind of fun, but... I don't like it. Maybe an easier access up there would be nice. Like, if maybe there were stairs on this side instead. So someone could like hold that a little bit more forward. I think that would help this a lot, actually. Or like extend this into like a platform that someone could stand on and climb this. I think that would help quite a lot. What is that drumming? That's a raging flame, my friend. Imagine a medic surfing into the flame. Yeah, maybe. That, w that could happen. This crate is weird. I don't know if this is a good crate. I guess it's here to like help break this sight line, but it's weird because you stand here and your head's like hitting this ceiling. I'd probably get rid of this crate and just put a small like uh box pile like this right there so it would open this up a little bit more and you could still stand here but you you wouldn't have to deal with this this doorway is pretty cool I like it it's nice and quick to get through it's a nice space health pack so this is a, a nice doorway here this lobby it's also quite small, which is good. So the transitions out of last are pretty good on this map, actually. I like them. Because it's fairly quick to get out. It's just, it's kind of inconvenient to clear this one. So if I was going to change anything, I would add a uh, an additional pathway to get up there. And I think add that and then close off this and maybe add some cover back here. And then I think that you have a pretty decent last. A drop down instead of the window. Um... Maybe. Perhaps. But I'm thinking about just changing it entirely. Maybe you could even make it a door. Like, if you made it more open. So you make this into a door. Let me go no clip. Uh, I'm just throwing out ideas, things I'd like to see. So sort of another catwalk. This turns into a door. And then there'd be a catwalk here. Walkable right there. So I could kind of, like, peek into it like this. And then hold this position maybe um something like that i think that would help to create more forward sort of positions that aren't terrible all right um so yeah it's important that these these are fairly easy to clear so that's good this actually might be one of the easiest lasts to push out of in the entire game because of how quickly you can get through the chokes Though there are only three, 
And usually there being a fourth one is important, but this one is hard to hold. Because it's so far away from everything else. Probably what you'd have to do is like leave a soldier maybe up here when pushing out. But then like, yeah, if you want to push out and you want to get your medic up there, like he has to come all the way around this, all the way across this entire thing. So that's why I think making it faster to get up here would change the map entirely and be a lot better. All right. Um, second point. I think there's some cool like geometry. This is, I think, a really cool, interesting thing going on here with these trains and this. I like it a lot, actually. Um, the point's pretty basic, like, last as well. The point's just like a flat square on the ground. I've always felt like they were kind of, I don't know, too simple. Like, a little bit more cover around the point might be cool. Um... Trying to see if like maybe possible to add another doorway, but I don't think it would be. I think that you're gonna ha you'd have to just be this. The train's kind of cool, but then you get the same problem, um, kind of with the doors being too small. A lot of maps have that problem. Um, I think they should be like snake water size, um, which would be like that tall. Right now they're slightly too slightly too small. They should be slightly bigger. Same goes here. I think both of these should be big bigger. This upper entrance is kind of interesting, giving the attacker some height, which is cool. Okay, um, but yeah, as it is right now, it's just so hard to get anybody in. Um, there's just three doorways out of last and three doorways into lobby or whatever you call this thing um, so I think an additional entrance or making them bigger at least to start would be good I might even just like get rid of this entirely and make this like much more open like a massive door right here like fucking gargantuan um, but then you'd probably want to add some other sort of cover in here. So, this lobby is pretty cool. I like it, how it's spacious as well. Um, but I feel like it needs to be, there needs to be some sort of like choke point in it. I'd probably put the choke point like, maybe I'd cut this off right here. So that this extra space wouldn't be there. You wouldn't have to worry nearly as much. And then maybe another sort of like smaller sort of segment here. Just because it's too hard to control when it's this open. There has to be a fine balance where it's like it's open but it's not too open. Especially with a lobby like this where people are going to take advantage of it and wrap. You want to allow someone who's like holding this, defending this to be able to sort of have some chance in that fight instead of just getting completely overwhelmed and rushed. But I, I quite like the geometry in here as well. Like this this propane tank, it's pretty unique. The like high ceilings are nice. This whole thing is pretty cool. Um, I don't know. Maybe they should cut this open too. Maybe you should be able to like jump through here. I don't know. Okay. So, but the problem is you definitely need three entrances at least into mid. So, yeah, it's it's always three, which I think is a big problem with the map. You have the one, two, three. Hmm. Maybe maybe not cutting off that spot, but yeah, I think cutting it off here would be necessary. So you'd put like a door frame here. So that these sides would be pretty much separate. So it'd be kind of like, you know, S Snake Water has like saw room and um, lower, I guess. That would create a more clear distinction between like where the flank is and where the combo is sort of thing. Because as it is, it's just all connected. I don't know. It's weird. Process has like three routes you can take. They all split. 
This one is just all one big area. So I'd probably just, yeah, split this here. Then if you did that, you could maybe justify this being a, a bigger door as well. So these things would flow a little bit better. I wonder if anything like drastic could be done. Like maybe even removing this entire wall. If you put a nice choke right here, maybe this wall could be like very open. But we'd have to see what the sight lines were like back here. Uh, not too bad really. There's not uh, there's not an amazing sight line back here, so you could maybe remove this entire wall and then shift the choke to being right here. That way there'd be better flow and more aggressive play into the lobby. Okay. Then pushing into mid um I like this choke. It's nice and like quick to get through. But the doorway's a bit small, so again, I would I would make it a bigger doorway. You could definitely flood through here and get on some height up here. Um, up here, I actually might get rid of some of the cover, like this shield wall. I might get rid of it. Uh, I'm not sure. I'd have to think about that more, but uh, this mid... I don't like the roof, honestly. I'm not a fan of it. It's it's just weird. It reminds me of Fastlane and Fastlane has like a terrible mid. Just like just a roof on top of the point. What 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 map has a roof on top of a point that's good? Just like a straight up roof. Sunshine is probably the closest that I can think of. I think Sunshine's the only one. Yukon, Yukon has a roof, but Yukon's better. Yukon, like the bridge, is more interesting than just a square on the floor. Cold front? No, cold front doesn't have a roof. I think Sunshine's like the only one, but it has like tower geometry and it's a lot more narrow. Whereas this is like just massive and wide and just like... If this roof was smaller, similar to Sunshine, it'd probably be way better actually. Like if it just had like a, a sunshine type tower on it and there wasn't as much like space to move around on it. Because as it is right now, you could stack your entire fucking team up here, man. It's ridiculous. I think a medic can climb up here. Yeah, a medic could easily... You could get literally every person on your team on this roof. This, the medic would just jump across this. And you just have a six man roof. I suppose you could do that on snake water, but it's very uh, it's very awkward and strange to do that. And the roof isn't that no, it's not as uh, good on snake water because you have to cross like that. Um, you have to cross the logs, but this you just you can get everyone up here. I actually think you you would see people do that on this map. So this position just needs to be nerfed like drastically. I like these trains a lot. I think these are really cool. I wish they were like more important to the mid fight. In some way. I don't know. I wonder what would happen if you... No. I was going to say like maybe move this train like more out here. But it would start getting really cramped. You'd have to get rid of this roof to do that. And it'd be sort of like a... What mid would that be like? That'd be like a granary, or have you ever seen a uh, CP Labor? There's another terrible old map, but it has like a crate stack like right around mid. Like a, a mini granary mid. But yeah, I think I think those changes would make this map way better. Also, there's a really strange thing with this map where it has an 8 minute round timer. Which is weird. Um, every other map has a 10 minute round timer, and just this map happens to have an 8 minute one. I don't know why, but it does. Um, yeah. I don't really like this flat wall. Something about it just bothers me. Just flat, with just some random shit piled on it. What is this shutter, actually? Hmm. Interesting. I wonder if that shutter, if it was useful, 
and then you like restructured some of the cover around the point. And then, but you'd also have to restructure this. You'd probably have to extend the lobby over to this. That would take some drastic changes, but. I, I just keep thinking there needs to be another exit somewhere, like coming from here. I feel like you could maybe justify like extending the lobby somehow. Like if you built like a another like square here, there was sort of an extension of the lobby and it split out left and right. I think that'd be uh, reasonable, something like that. I don't know, man. This map is the best because the train whistle goes off whenever you cap. That's that's a nice touch, honestly. I like it. Um, this thing looks cool. I don't know. I like it. I like it, a lot of elements of it, but it needs some some changes. That's for sure. Yeah, that's about it. Overall, not a terrible map, but just uh, maybe too different. Though I will admit, I haven't really played it outside of uh, matchmaking and pubs. I've never played a pug on it, I don't think, or a scrim or anything like that. So if I'm getting some hosts, cool. Yeah, I'm in their auto host. CL pitch up 900. I won't regret it. Um, what does it do? What about Vanguard? Uh, Vanguard. Vanguard and this map have some similar issues, actually. I'll talk about that some other time. Look at this stuff back here. It actually looks so cool. Hmm. Maybe something you could do to make this uh, interesting would be... Like, make this roof smaller and then maybe offer, like... Like, what if you only made it these side pieces right here on each one? Get rid of the, the middle two quadrants here or whatever. That could, that could maybe work. It'd be kind of like snake water then with the roof. And maybe you could even put like a log or something or a, a, a plank or a bridge up there. But probably emphasize height too much. But it would it would help you to get out of this fucking awful position back here. You'd love to see a change foundry. Yeah, that'd be nice. Um, foundry Pro? I don't know. I don't think we need more Pro versions of maps, so that's the problem. Best 5 CP map? I would say the best 5 CP map is... Um, Sunshine, in my opinion. Pitch up 900? Is that what it was? Didn't do anything. SV cheats. Oops. Cheats one. Yeah, it didn't do anything, man. That might be too high. Can I review CP well? Another time. Another time. Just look around. I am. I don't see anything different. Is something weird and something happening that I don't notice? Oh, what? Oh, no. Okay. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. That's disorienting. go upside down I wish I could go all the way but I can't can I go even higher 1000 nope where's your bucket 
Yeah, but actually when I was doing that, it, uh... That's interesting. I'm holding W, but when I go, like... Yeah, once I pass the straight up mark... I start going backwards. <laughs> I'm only doing W right now. Um, when I was looking up, I was like, oh, the ceiling is actually pretty cool. Look at all this stuff up here. Some nice little details in it. Third person? I don't think that will do anything. Hmm. I wonder if any of these spots are accessible. No, probably not. Seeing deals that don't collide with you and eat your jumps, pog champ. Yeah, that that's a nice thing. It's a nice thing when they're just completely out of the way. Anyways, yeah, that's pretty much it. DD5F made a jump map where the last jump makes you do that. That doesn't sound fun at all. It really doesn't. What was the first Nintendo console ever made and no looking it up? Oh, man. Yeah, I actually don't know. Nintendo the first. Do you think environmental hazard have a place in maps since we see them in maps like Upward and Steel? I don't think they should. I don't think they should be in competitive maps at least. In pubs I don't care. Look, more details. Look at this. But it's just like, I don't know. Maybe it just has a bad reputation but like, why does this corner exist? Um. Hmm. It's... It just feels like an element of like randomness or like, I don't know. I don't like the idea of the map beating you, not the players. That's my, what's, I guess that's one of my feelings about it for TF2. Rocket, how is port of fort a good thing? Relax. Do a backflip? Nah. Yeah. Funny, I'd say death pits shouldn't be a thing when they're a staple in Overwatch maps. Well, I already talked about how I don't like their map design. I don't know. Though there are, uh, there's some Quake maps that have death pits, I think. And I like Quake. I don't know. Maybe it's just a tradition thing that I don't, I don't like them. Opinion on this map I'm on? I just talked about it for like the last half hour. Um, also, it's just unconventional to have a full health pack. Actually, let me uh, let me fly through this one. Hmm. Hmm. I wonder if there'd be potential for like a uh, a drop down or something around here, like an additional entrance. Like, what if there was a drop down like right here? You could drop down from like here. And go straight down and then you could exit out through here or something. Or a stairwell even. I think a stairwell could work. A stairwell from here, up around here, and then up to here. That's what I that's another thing I might do. So I would walk straight down this. There's plenty of space for it. And then there'd be a, another turn right here. It'd be kinda like on Barn Blitz. There's like a stairwell that does that. I think that would uh, help to allow you to push into lobby or push out of lobby. It'd just be a small door, but like a fourth doorway they couldn't easily uh, cover. So they couldn't like lock you out entirely. If you're going to do that, you probably wouldn't need to open this up. Because there'd be enough um, options. It helps people like me that's not a fast builder. Rocket, I think you'd like anything they added to that game, man. You just like new and shiny things. There comes a point where 
You just gotta, like, stop. You know what I'm saying? Just, like... I'm worried. I'm worried about Fortnite, man. I feel like they're, they're not gonna stop. I guess it's working for them, like, business-wise, but... What about the purity of the game? What about the integrity? You know? I played CPMA. I haven't, actually. Look for hidden easter eggs with no clip. Are there any? Some muscle milk. I don't think there's anything hidden, man. I don't think Valve hides things in their maps. That's generally custom map. Wait. Oh, there are. There are easter eggs. Oh, this reminds me. Wasn't this like how they announced MVM or something? There was like a hidden room or something like that? This is definitely some sort of easter egg. Like why? Why does this exist? Badwater has easter eggs? Does it? Like what? <sighs> Blue side's OP. They have an extra room. Look at all this back here. Oh yeah, this map has a soldier just standing here. Just chilling. Why is he just standing like that, man? Isn't there something like that on... Thunder Mountain? Maybe? Go through the soldier. Go through the door. Uh oh. Oh, I flew into the furnace. God damn it. <laughs> oh, okay. Is this the MVM thing? Is this the MVM announcement? That's Cyclops. Scared bitch. Fear on that guy. Oh, I gotta avoid the flames. Oh, there's nothing here. Interesting. Interesting. <laughs> That's cool. Alright. Well, I think that's about it.